Spire is a 3D tower defense game. I worked for two months in UDK on a team as lead designer to complete the game. In Spire, the player has to protect a winding track from invaders by building towers near the path. Towers can be upgraded with different elements, and up to two elements can be combined to create even more powerful towers, for a combination of 11 total towers to defend with. Players extract resources by destroying invaders and uses those resources to build and upgrade more towers. My responsibilities on this project included working with our level designer to design and build the map, working with the lead artist to design the towers and enemies, and balancing the power of those towers and enemies. The track consists of an irregular path with curves and corners. Towers can only be built on square zones that I placed at specific areas near the track. Some tower types excel at certain placements, and it's up to the player to experiment with their defensive layout to determine which towers work best in particular scenarios. I came up with the concept for four basic enemy types. Fast-moving sentinels, tougher scouts, slow-moving transports that release sentinels when destroyed, and a battle mech boss. Similarly, I came up with 11 tower designs, each with their own unique strengths and weaknesses. For example, the Gauss Cannon is slow firing, but powerful and can hit at a great distance. The EMP Tower cannot deal damage, but instead slows down nearby enemies and the Bio Tower, that leaves blobs of slime that continue to harm enemies over time. With the help of the lead artist, we solidified the designs of the enemies and towers, and in addition to designing the towers, I also created all the particle effects seen in the game. Every tower has a specific cost, range, damage output, and special ability, and every enemy has a specific speed and health setting. Initially, I modeled out these abilities in a demo of the game, and ran QA sessions with testers. Based on the feedback, I tracked the values of each tower and enemy, and gradually adjusted them. After the fourth testing session, I received the desired level of player satisfaction, and used the results as our permanent game settings. Spire takes about 10 minutes to play, and offer players replayability by allowing them to experiment with different defensive strategies. The final product of the game was nominated and entered in the 2010 Summer Indie Game Challenge, and while it didn't win the award for best game, I felt rewarded for working with such a dedicated team. If you want to try out Spire for yourself, just click the download link.